Hey y'all, I'm gonna make a quick video. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about my experience with this 2007 Ford Escape. It's got the uh, 2.3 liter Duratec in it. Uh, pretty much, I'm at a point now, uh, I took the head off, put a new head gasket on. When I got this car, it had bent valves or it had jump time. So I put all new valves in, a uh, new head gasket, got the whole gasket kit. And now uh, I just installed the, pretty much the timing chain. So this is all the old parts laid out. You have a, should be a tensioner down here. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. So this drives your uh, oil pump and don't have to be timed. And there is a key on the back of this pulley. That's it. So make sure that key's on there before you tighten it. It's pretty simple. Um, Tensioner, that's what your tensioner rides on. It just goes in a pin up here and <laughs> works with that tensioner. This, these, uh, <coughs> the guide on this side has uh, bolts in it. Uh, so I got my uh, tool, my timing tool over here for my cams. It has uh, offset slots on each cam where it allows you to just stick this in there. It's a tight fit. See how it pops in there? It's tough, but it's perfect. Um, so if the cams are fitting in that tool right, you know that cylinder number one right here is at top dead center on compression stroke because the lobes on uh, each of your cams aren't touching the uh, plungers. So you know your valves are closed. So we're timing the cams. The crank is at top dead center. Um, before I put the head on, I made this, made sure this was what was up down here. There's a pin you put in right here. So I can show you guys. There's a pin you put in. I just finger tighten it. This is what it looks like. Okay, and that came with the tool, uh, the cam tool up top when I bought it. And pretty much you want to rotate this engine clockwise. Um, and you'll see the counterweight on the crank come around right here and it'll hit perfectly on the flat spot. <clears throat> so I pulled my timing cover off so it's easier to see. Uh, but there's a lot of good information on these videos, uh, are on these cars on uh, YouTube. So if you watch your videos, it's really not that bad. Um, but when you tighten this nut, I mean this bolt on the crank, your crank nut, and you tighten this pulley down, you're timing the pulley, uh, I think it's the ninth, ninth tooth on the uh, crankshaft position sensor down here. Where did it go? Right here. And that goes on the outside of the cover. When you're timing that, the cans and the crank. So three things. And when you tighten it down, if all those three things are lined up, you'll be in time. Uh, there's a, a bolt you put through here. And it goes into the uh, other side of this timing cover right here. Yeah. Lines that up. So that's what I'm about to get into. I'm going to see how hard it is. And uh, I'll be back. <laughs> 